Okay, hello, welcome. I'm another Magento developer. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover uh, Magento upgrading um, and, and how I approach it. So, upgrading Magento tools to other Magento tools. This isn't a one to two, um, this is a two to two. So, specifically on this one, I mean, I'm, I'm cheating a bit. It's it's a minor upgrade. It's uh, I've got a 2.4.1. 2.4.2 has just landed, so I want to upgrade it. So it's it's not going up particularly um, far, really. So so I shouldn't, fingers crossed, shouldn't have any problems. So what I wanted to do was just sort of talk through my process in terms of um, you know get, getting it getting it all working. So um, if I just clear out this, I was just having a look. So so in this in this instance um, of of any kind of upgrade that you're embarking on, first thing I always do. And you should always do is branch off. So I'm not gonna, I can't do that on this because there's no, I've not, I've not got this sort of test site set up with with a Git. Uh, but um, the way you do that, just to show you, is Git checkout uh, minus b, and then and then I'd do something like um, two four two upgrade, and I'd um, and I'd branch and I'd branch off uh, using using something like that. So I'd be working. Not on my develop branch, not on my master branch, not on my UAT branch. I'll be working on a completely separate branch, so in, ca in case anything goes wrong, um, I can I can slap the code base back. But if you're doing this upgrade properly, the only thing you really are going to upgrade that, that exists in the repo is your composer JSON because that's just going to go up a version. Um, so all it really a magenta upgrade is 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 generally just contained within the vendor folder. Uh, so which which shouldn't be tracked by your repository. So right, I'm uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a start. So the dot the Magento docs are your friend in this situation. So there's a few things to check before you before you do these upgrades. And the the, the first one, and I think probably the most important one uh, for any 2.4 upgrade, is checking that your search engine is Elasticsearch, and just to make sure. So um, obviously check your version because anything 2.4 later. If it's a running Magento site, if it's working, it'll be running Elasticsearch. Um, but 2.3.6, uh, 2.3.5, sorry, P2 would have um, had Elasticsearch is optional. So some developers um, and myself set that, you know, got that working on that version. So then upgrading to 2.4 is um, is simpler. So you might want to. Um, you might want to do that if you if you are upgrading a 2.3.5 to a 2.4.2, for example. Um, you might want to one of the main things you're going to need to do, amongst obviously other things, if it's a custom store, like I can't comment on what you might find in terms of the upgrade uh, and, and little problems that are going to come up. But the main issue you will get that'll stop it from upgrading is not having Elasticsearch running. Um, and if you can at least do this and have a look what your um, oh, and have a look what your um, default search engine is set to. And now, if you're on a 2.4, sorry, 2.3.5, this is probably going to say MySQL, uh, because this is a 2.4.1. It's already set to Elasticsearch 7. That's what you want to see. And and then, if you want to set that, then you change this command to set, and you've got Elasticsearch running, uh, which is an important thing, um, which I'll do. But you'd you'd basically, um, and you'd essentially set that. Value. Obviously, it's already set, but you know, gives you an idea. Now, I'll just do oops. Before I start this upgrade, I'll run Elasticsearch just in another tab. So all I've got is a, a local installation of Elasticsearch, which is in my users directory. Um, ah, I've already got it running on another project. So just bear with me a second, and I'll just kill it on this project. So that's another thing. The way I run Elasticsearch, it might be different on your um, on your setup, but I'm running a Mac, and I like to run Elasticsearch separately. Uh, I don't like it running in the background all the time. I don't use Valet. I use MAMP, and I don't want to just keep Elasticsearch running. Um, there we go. That's running. I like to start it in my environment. I just find it easier to manage. Um, so there. So Elasticsearch is now running. Um, I'll just clear that out. Now I'm going to embark on the upgrade, and as I say, the docs are your friends. So the prerequisites are, are essentially the, the most important one is Elasticsearch and checking that. And there's the other way you can check that there. You can go into your admin, but it's quite easy to do on command line as I've just demonstrated. Uh, right, and so we'll um, we'll upgrade. So upgrading Magento, and this is the bit that um, that should be the the most simplest, the, the simplest. So 
obviously it tells you to pop pop it in uh, maintenance mode which we don't need to do because this is a local environment and the majority of your upgrades you're going to carry out on your local environment before you deploy to your, your um, production environment I would definitely recommend at this point making sure that your Magento is set up with a proper deployment process and I've got other videos on that which I'll pop um, as a link just now which you can go and check but watch the rest of this one first um, because it just makes these processes a lot easier and um, if you're having to put your site in maintenance mode on a live site and run an upgrade on a live site without it you know and the only test you've done is on a local host then I mean it's a risk isn't it it's probably gonna go through but it's it's a risk and I wouldn't um, I wouldn't recommend it. I'd recommend always doing your upgrades locally and committing the changes to your repository and then building your deployments around your repository so we know that, um, and obviously testing on a staging server as well, uh, so we know um, the, the, the path to upgrade is a lot more secure in terms of risk. So, this one is sort of, this command is the command I'm after. Um, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here. And I'm gonna change this to a number two, and I'm going to run it. And we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so the first little snag I've hit. Right. Okay. So the new upgrade is gonna change the order in which these these run. My local order is Composer Root Update Plugin. Um, and the magento order is obviously the opposite way around so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run that again with what's recommended here 242 okay so let's uh, let's run the update and just to make sure I've mentioned this before um, I've mentioned this before in that on my Mac in using MAMP I always get memory limit errors even though I've changed I've changed my config files in PHP on MAMP and I still I still get them so, so to avoid that um, if I just uh, sorry if I just do which composer to find the absolute path and then I do uh, PHP minus D memory Equals say set it to like eight gig, um, and then an absolute path. Okay, so uh, just before I do this, what I've done here is I've just, as per the advice here, the the order has actually changed in terms of what Magento open source 2.4.0 what their order is is in terms of these things running in composer so I'm just going to use Magento default values um, and the, 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 you saw me run that command it was composer require and then the version I was upgrading to um, with no update and then use these default values um, and then it's, um, it's telling me here that overriding local order Due to that that setting, so I'm all I'm all set to go, and then it says uh, updating Composer JSON for Magento Open Source 2.4.2, um, which you can see there. It's uh, ready to to sort of switch these versions in terms of once the uh, upgrade has been run. So next to do is um, Composer update. With any luck, it will time out with memory errors, and it should uh, it should fly through the update. So we'll be back in a second. Well, we'll be back in a second for you. Probably about fifteen minutes for me. Here we go. We have lift off of sorts. Let's hope. This goes through, so it's just doing its um, it's doing its thing. So here's an interesting thing. Halfway through my composer, I don't know what happened. My my internet dropped or something. Um, 
as you can see just as it goes out the screen there we've got um, Quote Analytics failed and then it reconnected and re-downloaded and then started up again which is pretty cool um, because obviously if it failed there that wouldn't be very good because I'd have to start it again um, but it was clever enough to sort of uh, pick up where it left off try again obviously found found repaired its issue whatever it was connection issue no doubt started again which is pretty good and we are done by the looks so next thing we are going to do is we're going to run the setup commands for Magento um, dead simple so in the um, in the docs it says to run setup upgrade and then clear your caches and that we're in developer mode um, so what I'm going to run is these big four here so setup upgrade I'm going to di compile I'm going to run stack content and then I'm going to flush cache the reason I'm doing the extra di compile and, and stack content is setup upgrade will clear folders like code generated and static content and rather than faffing around refreshing my browser and waiting an age for them to come back I might as well just do them all at once then I can test the front end and make sure that my upgrade's gone through properly so historically when I've run upgrades um, of any kind through Composer it's a really once you've once you've got through Composer um, and, and sorted out any errors any compatibility errors there um, you get them at set up, set up upgrade so I'm gonna watch that like a hawk um, set up upgrade normally it picks up um, issues with database schema and incompatibility and sort of inconsistencies of database schema and I've had to I've had to do some pretty dodgy stuff in the past to try and get force upgrades to go through um, from that point of any luck this isn't gonna happen uh, for this one because it's a minor sort of 241 to 242 there shouldn't be much difference um, if there is any difference, we're going to find out now. So let's see how that goes. It's going to bloody work. Right, look, we stuff that in there. Wait for it to burst. Wait for it to burst. Wait for it to look out. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Fatal error. Fatal error on uh, upgrading data. Ah. It's okay. Um, it's my module. It's my module, so I can I can um, I can disable that. For, uh, obviously, I'm I'm working on a sort of test install of Magento. I should have looked really. It's in there. Look, it's one of my modules. ASOS Color Setup. Um, oh, it was something I was faffing around. I don't even need. I don't even need that. Um, I was just messing about and I forgot to run setup upgrade last time. So it's nothing to do with the uh, with the upgrade. <laughs> I forgot it was there actually. So, uh, which is cool. So we'll try that again. Um, should get past that point now. Yeah, I think it essentially I'd not I'd, I'd half written a script and I'd left it in there. It was disabled obviously by default, but as setup upgrades ran, it's enabled a half written module which is which has crashed it, which is which is brilliant considering obviously this is going to go on YouTube. So I'm really chuffed about that. So the setup upgrade's gone through this time. Um just have a quick check a route yep so I mean obviously all this has got to run but and it's got to work on the front end which I will confirm but little the early signs say that this is Magento 2.4.2 which is you know a success in a, in a way I am um, so I hope this video helps I hope it does I hope I hope just seeing it done in almost real time is um, is helpful and um, for, for people because I know each time I do one of these you know as an experienced Magento developer who's done a lot of these types of upgrades 
every time I do one, it's um, it's sort of uh, it's with trepidation. It's with a little bit of of nerves in terms of I, you never really know what you're going to expect. You know what you're going to what you're going to hit and and the new little thing. And you, you can read the docs all you like. You can prepare yourself. You can. You know, you can you can you can look at all the Magento docs for for prerequisites and and test and test and test. But you're running something. You know, it's, you're at the mercy of the script you're running, and it's just good to sort of um, one thing. I'd you know the the main takeaways are branch off from your Git. Don't run it in in, in a normal environment in, in your normal sort of workable branch. Um, test it if you can on a on a blank install of Magento, just so you've got sort of a um, so you've got a control group. That you can compare then to your to your lav sort of the Magento one that you the Magento two that you're trying to um, actually upgrade that's that's got customizations and that that might help um, and also you know just um, be patient because the scripts take ages uh, read the output uh, look into the errors if you if you get any and um, most important of all upgrade frequently. Like I'm going from a 2.1, 2.4.1 to a 2.4.2. If you can, make sure that your clients are aware that they must upgrade. You know, it's for everyone's benefit. It's for their benefit. It's for your benefit. Like if you leave even two or three versions, particularly when you jump in versions from 3.3.5 uh, to fours, it just it's going to add time on. It's going to add cost on for the client if that site isn't upgraded frequently. Um, set time aside to do it. Um, try and get it paid for by the client because it's in their best interest. But even if you can't, I mean, just as, um, you know, if you feel that you want to keep up to, like I'm halfway through a build now, which I started on 2.4.1, I'm not even going to um, approach the client, I'm just going to upgrade it to 2.4.2 before it, before it goes live, and I'm going to do it, to, I'm going to do it now as well, uh, this was a rehearsal for that process, um, and, and it's going to benefit me, because that site, for example, that project is a few weeks away from, from launch, I'm gonna find out any of the the, the issues from upgrading uh, to 2.4.2 in the code base. I'm gonna find them out with enough time to fix them. If if you're leaving your upgrades, you know if you if if they're catching you out just before you go live, it's not a good situation to be in really. Upgrade early, upgrade often. I'll live by those principles. I'll live by them. Okay, so this is the site I'd uh, upgraded. Oops. Let's take a look. Yeah, there we go. Stuff's working. We're up and running. Yeah, let's test a couple of areas just for obviously <laughs> do more in depth testing than this, but I think it's safe to say we're up and running. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for. Um, more content that, that will be coming soon, more Magento content, and, and uh, I wish you best of luck upgrading your next Magento 2 project.